the NES Classic has been hacked. And when did you know it? It's those rascally Russians. They're stealing our elections and they're hacking our consoles. They must be stopped. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, so a Russian hacker named uh, Mad Monkey came out with some instructions. Uh, I want to say it was about a week ago now. Um, basically giving instructions to add games to the NES Classic. Um so far it seems like it's a really it's a really simple program to run um you basically just list the roms in there what is so cool about it this is the this is the the genius of it you can actually add the information that the games that are already on the nes classic have like the release date number of players um box art this program lets you put all that in there and even with the box art you can even just like type in the name click google and it'll import images from a, a google image search and you just pick the one you want to use then when you and when you're you know there's apparently it's very easy to get your nes to be recognized by your computer it like pretty much involves you like now if you're going to do this look up the official uh way to do this and of course do it at your own risk a lot of people are warning it could brick your system i have not personally seen any reports of systems i have not done this to mine i do plan on doing it um but apparently it's it's basically as simple as have your console off plug it in through its usb cable into your computer hold down the reset button while you turn while you hit the power button and about 10 in less than 10 seconds your computer will start to recognize it and from there the program can take over and upload additional ROMs to it um, I want to say the most that I've seen someone load onto it are is somewhere like 94 total games that's including the 30 that come onto it so it looks like you can add about 60 or so more games to it than what are already on there and if you use the program to give it the box art and all that stuff, the games show up in the menu, in the GUI, like they belong there all along. So that's pretty awesome. I'm so happy this happened. I remember saying here on the podcast, I hope someone cracks this open so that you can add games to it. Yeah, It, it only took them three months. Oh, and, a little bit less than three months. And they, so I think I want to say they they cracked the Famicom version a lot faster. But see, I never heard exactly what it was that they did to that. That you know what what hack what exploit they added to it. Um, this is all I wanted from this. And while it's not like, um, and it's kind of weird. Like no one's really sure exactly how many games you can add to it. Um, people are basically saying like, yeah, don't go over, don't go over 90. Some people are being even more conservative. Some people are only like adding like 30 or so more games to it. Um, and no one really knows what'll happen if you add too many to it. That could break the system in theory, but it's still, and yeah, you're not going to get the whole NES library on there, all like 700 or 800 some odd games that are available, but that's still nice because I know that there's several games that are probably never going to be put on there due to licensing reasons, like the, the Ninja Turtle games. I, l I would love to, to play those on this system, and now, now I can. Um, so... If you've got one of these, if you're one of the lucky people to get one of these and you feel like uh, feel like taking the risk, although personally I don't feel like that there's going to be much of a risk, I'll probably do this and then report during our next podcast whether, you know, how easy it was and how successful my efforts were. Um, if it does break my system, I'm going to be really <laughs> upset. It's not like these are expensive to replace. It's just you can't find the stupid things. 
you know, we're talking about the Nintendo Switch, which is a little less than two months away from release, and what about the last system you released, Nintendo? When are you going to get that distribution under wraps? And it just it's turning into another Wii, where it's just like, we're just not going to make these available for a year and a half, two years. We'll start making enough to meet the man when we think about it we want to but yeah did you have any other thoughts about this like as far as um should this be something some that people try or should they just be happy with those 30 very good games mind you but only 30 mm. i think it's cool that you can do that um I, I honestly thought that it would only be like a matter of time before someone figures out like, oh, like someone's gonna figure out how to put more than thirty games on there because I heard some people's like oh, 30? only thirty. I was like, can I add more? No. Like that's, I mean like, my first thought to that was like that's thirty games, like thirty games, already on that console and you're not happy with that. But they're NES games. I mean, yeah, they can all be beaten <laughs> within like an hour. <laughs> So, I mean, some of them a little bit over an hour. But. That's why I feel like the the sixty dollar price of this is fair. You get anywhere beyond that, and it's like, no, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to pay three figures, four figures for this device. Sorry, scalpers, keep trying. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're able to do it, and it won't break your system, why not? Yeah, why not? It's kind of funny, too, because since Nintendo made this a closed system, it does not connect to the internet. They have no way of updating the firmware and locking people out of doing this. Yeah, so if so... if it, it turns out that there's no risk, you know, if, if you're one of those people that has multiple of these, do it all to them and just sell them online. Yeah. Or or keep them and just have different loadouts of uh, of games on them, <laughs> and the thing is, you can't. This is not a permanent thing either. Like you you can like you're like okay, well I'm done with these sixty games. Let me take those off and um add different ones on there. You can totally do that too. So oh, and the suspend points still work <laughs> for for the ones that you add on there. So you could still you know do your do your uh save points at any time thank you russia thank you so much should call this video from russia with love or something like that <laughs>